luckily there's less to do here because we're right on a, on a pit. So I've just done all that. Drill bits, how many? Three? Three have gone. Yeah. Put the lintels both in from this side. <clears throat> Took this out and this block was cracked. Oh, happy Friday. Right, welcome back to the garage conversion. We're currently next door in the kitchen dining area. We're about to bust this out to form the new dining area into the garage. And this is the new pedestrian door into the little space at the front of the garage. So we've, we've, we've drilled through from the other side, transferred all our marks. There's one side of the door. Just got to transfer the other mark over here and put all the adhesives in the way. I'm actually just getting ready here. There's one side and it's 2610. There's the other side. So once we're up to there, we can start stitch drilling, we start knocking out. This side is obviously going to come out quicker because it's block work. And um, the skip's getting full, so it's a bit of clever stacking out there. So let's crack on.
Right, just after break. Are you done? Nearly done with the stitch drilling? Yeah. Luckily, there's less to do here because we're right on a on a perp. So I've done all that. Drill bits. How many? Three. Three have gone. Yeah. These bricks are like engineering bricks. Rock. Proper rock hard. One of them was brand new the other day. They just melt because of the heat and they disintegrate. So we're going to leave this section now because we've we've got all, got this all propped up. We've still got another two acros on the other side. We've got eight all together, haven't we? Yeah. So we've still got three three others. Um, we've got two on the other side, keeping that steel up, which we're going to leave in until we've done all the bashing. Once all the bashing is done, we'll take them out. Um, then we can't. We've got no. no we forgot to get the strong boys off uh, Robbie, so I'm going to knock a, a hole out there and put a needle in to both sides. Uh, there's a loft hatch next door and a ceiling, so we've got to be careful. So we've got to do both lintels from this side. We've took this spar out from this this truss which is actually doing nothing because there's the new roof up there. New roof goes above it. We have checked and I've just screwed it back at the top there just in case. So we, we've got a uh, two cores to come out here. Put the lintels both in from this side. So still plenty to do. Getting on for 11 o'clock now I should think. But now we're, we're all set up ready to start bashing through the wall. Um, yeah, just a bit of timber to cut off there which is in the way of the uh, steel. So yeah, let's start making a proper mess. Come on, smack him. Round that hole. Wait your way down if you want, mate. Hello. Stick your head
Where's it, Al? 10 past 12. Hey, not bad. Boom. It's out. Look at that. So this is going to be kitchen, dining room. Partition with a steel there. Single doorway into the front room with the window, which is getting done Monday. So we're having lunch now. As you can see, we've got a, a bit much, a bit, a bit too much came out of here, but um, <clears throat> took this out and this block was cracked. So you don't want a straight joint all the way up there, all the way up there, and all the way up there. So I've took this all the way back so I can tooth it in and pack it in. So that's going to be tied in that section, nice and strong. There's our other steel, nice full beds as you can see from the inside when you push through. Same that end, well full. So, probably got that brick to knock off there, bit of building up to do. A, lot, a bit more building up to over there. But the plan is get this steel in, get it, get it propped. Get this out, but get this propped, get this out. Try and get the lintels in and then, because we're going at four, whatever happens, it's Friday. We've had two late nights on here. So we're going to see where we get to by four o'clock and then we're going to skedaddle back here Monday morning. And then um, we might end up with a longer day then, but we're not, we're not working late tonight, are we all? You see where we are? Four, well, four o'clock, we're off, of it. we're out of here. Right. So steal in after dinner, okay? The steels are, are absolute doddle to manhandle. They're just a bit, lift them up over your heads a bit hard, but move, move them around. We've, we've had them all over the place, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, he's, Alex has moved that on his own. So, um, we'll catch you after dinner. <laughs> you get to lift the crap end with the camera. Okay. Do you want to put the GoPro somewhere else now, then just so you can get a better grip? Alright, you can slide it in now. Just uh That's it. Ready? Yep. Just slide it. Go on. On there, isn't it? No snap block, will it? I shouldn't think so. If we get um, maybe get a brick and a packer just to just to take the just pack it up. We we'll grab a brick and we'll get a bit of timber in there. That's mean it's going to be good. Is it going to be good for us to get the? Uh... I just didn't get hands in. That's fine. Right, should we do this? That's everything I'm packing. Yeah, yeah, I should be right then. Right, let me just, uh, like, um, Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to get, um, do you want to get put the ladders under it so it's a bit higher? So we've got to get the start. You should, you don't just want to band-aid it and do it in one. That's what we did last time. Okay. Because I'm just, each time we're lifting like that, we're getting draining off strength. So I just need to swing mine out a bit. Yesterday went pretty well. <laughs> right, let me start backing it up now. Um, the bottom's there to start, don't we? Oh, sorry? Yeah, the bottom's there to start. Yeah. 
And this is the one right there. Hold it steady. Hmm? Lift it up, hold it steady. Hold it level. No pressure. Um, do you want to get on the other side? Bring it over here. Do another one or a brick? Yeah. Two bricks under there. Oh, sorry? We'll get two bricks under there. We, we can put the bricks that way now, can't we? Because the, the blocks are well, well steady. Yeah. Well steady. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Where's the other brick? Oh shit. Take that one out. No, underneath. On edge. Yeah. That's it. Right, spin it round. Spin it round the other way. Very right, lift it. That's not stable. Okay. Tell you what, I love that. You were in like 45 mil, would it there? Yeah. Quite far out, you know. What do you mean? The holes are nowhere near. It's not been lined up yet. That's what I mean, that's what I said. There we go, way over that 100 mil. It's not even touching, it's not even touching that, that thing yet. So we, can we lift it with the echoes and push it off? Not that much, really. Do you want to get a ladder? You want to do it off the ladder? Slide it. Is it filming? Yeah. Or time lapse? It's filming. Yeah. Time lapse it now. Yeah. So we, we couldn't do this before, we couldn't get the ladders in? No. We couldn't get the ladders in, it stable.
there you go, that stuff has come to the rescue. We've just got the steel up into position. I'm not sure if it's from under time lapsing, but we got it up and we found that the um, the joists are two different levels in the rooms. I think it's 25mm difference. So we've dropped the steel back down. We've cut up a nice piece of architrave, which is 25mm, or thereabouts, into 100mm pieces. And we've got the pink grip, put some on the top and some on the bottom. So all that is, once this is wound up, that's going to be nice, nicely secure. It's going nowhere. So we're ready for winding up the acros now and then getting it all secure. So I'm um, catching a bit. Oh, hello. I think it's your first time hearing from me today. So there we have it. The bolts are all screwed in properly as well before anyone says, let's get you in there. There you go. Bolt and washer, nut and washer. That's on both sides. Let me take you there. There you, there you go. So, I always love, I always love that bit. Um, uh, yeah, here you go. This is a good thing about working inside today. You can't even tell. Here we go, I can show you this side. It's uh, very wet, let me, in fact, let me... Well, there we go, so, like I say, that's always satisfying for me, like getting all them in. So, plan is now, Dad is gonna make some noise and some mess there, and if we can, we're gonna try and get these lintels in and sorted and whatever, yeah, but if not, this is propped up with two acros for uh, for the weekend, so that ain't going anywhere. It's also bolted to the other thing, so that shouldn't be moving at all. And that is, uh, well you can see here now, there's practically nothing above it, so. And we'll get, well you're getting something ready for an acro anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're getting the needle. Yeah. There you go. So, pressure to dad, he knows what he's on about. <laughs> 